Now, all five former officers face charges of second-degree murder, aggravated assault, aggravated kidnapping, official misconduct, and official oppression. Hundreds of protesters took to the streets in Memphis tonight. They shut down part of I-55 near downtown Memphis. Others gathered at a park on the Memphis waterfront, calling for police accountability, shouting, no justice, no peace. Well, Fox 5's Tyler Fingert has been covering the local response to the Memphis police video. He is live at Centennial Olympic Park tonight, where people gathered to protest there, Tyler. Well, Christine, about 50 demonstrators gathered here at the intersection of Centennial Olympic Park Drive and Marietta Street, actually right behind me. They uh, left about an hour and a half ago, but they were chanting and demanding justice. Take a listen. They say what happened in Memphis is another example of police brutality and institutional racism. These protesters were here standing in solidarity with what happened to Tyree Nichols. They're hoping meaningful change happens to prevent anyone else from having to suffer a similar fate. Organizers say they are glad that the five officers are facing charges in the Memphis case, but would like to see them sitting behind bars instead of out on bond. Some of the protesters are upset. Georgia called in the National Guard and say it was meant to deter peaceful protests like theirs. The group Group says while there were only a few dozen people, their message is still loud and clear that they stand with the Nichols family. Just like we did with Breonna Taylor, just like we did with Ahmaud Aubrey, it's very important to stand behind these families because at any given time, at any given day, it could be you. I had many people tell me they were scared to come out tonight, and that's outrageous that people are scared to speak out against police terror. People have the right to feel safe. These killer cops should be put away. The Nichols family has called for peaceful protests, and the organizers of this demonstration said that they did exactly that. While they have left for the night, they say they will be back out here tomorrow at noon to continue to demand justice. We're live in downtown Atlanta tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Tyler, thank you. Meantime, police and National Guard members have been at the ready for violence, although the protests downtown have been peaceful, thankfully. Uh, city and state leaders say they were not taking any chances after last weekend's riot over Atlanta's planned public safety training Center. Fox 5's Rob Darienzo has been tracking the law enforcement presence all night in our area. So, Rob, what is it looking like? Hey there, Christine Ross. Well, throughout the evening, we've actually seen more officers than protesters. All has remained peaceful, as Russ mentioned. But again, there's been a lot of police activity both here outside City Hall and near the state capitol. I want to give you a look at what it looked like earlier today when the National Guard rolled into town per Governor Brian Kemp's orders, declaring a state of emergency. We have not seen those members around here since, but throughout the evening, both here at the capitol and near Centennial Olympic Park, police have been on standby following the release of that footage of 29 year old Tyree Nichols. Officers in riot gear waited in unmarked white vans nearby, but the fear of violence has not materialized. City officials and local law enforcement condemned the action of those five Memphis officers while insisting on peaceful protest tonight. A routine traffic stop with five individuals beating one man and he dies is enough for me and you to not even have to watch the video. We ask the community to allow the case to play out. Let's keep everybody safe in our community. Let's make sure that we are doing the right things and if we choose to protest, that we protest in a peaceful manner. And a law enforcement source told me that law enforcement from around the region has been using Atlanta police's headquarters as a sort of command center in the event that something would happen. But again, nothing has as of right now. The question is, if it will, we do hear that more protests are planned over the weekend. Earlier this evening, Governor Brian Kemp released a statement saying tonight he and his family were praying for the Nichols family and that the state respects the right to peaceful protest. Live, out, live outside City Hall, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News. Oh, so far, so good. Rob, thanks very much. Tyree Nichols was a father. He was a son. His family said he had a beautiful soul and touched every person. And so he really deserves our respect. 
A similar scene tonight in Washington, D.C. Protesters and community members called for change in response to Nichols' death. A demonstrators observed a moment of silence in his honor. Back here in Georgia, a veteran police sergeant has dedicated his career to improving the broken relationship between law enforcement and the African-American community. Daryl Triplett started an organization called All Cops Ain't Bad. He tries to bridge the gap between officers and the community with humor. Triplett says the Memphis police chief has handled the case appropriately so far. We have to trust our system that we have in place for our police, right? And I know that's a hard thing to do sometimes. Sergeant Triplett says cops make mistakes too, but he's ready to cross that blue line and criticize when officers are wrong. President Biden is also calling for peace, but he says Congress must pass police reform to prevent future tragedies. I spoke with Kyrie's mother and uh, expressed my condolences and told her that I was going to be making the case to the Congress and to pass the George Floyd Act. We should get this under control. I can only do so much in the executive order at a federal level. And, uh, and the prayer, I was really pleased that she called for no peaceful protest, no, no violence, no movement at all. I do want to say, uh, and I want to repeat uh, what the family has said, that expressions of concern when people see uh, this video, um, uh, we urge that they be peaceful uh, and nonviolent. Uh, that's what the family has uh, urged, and uh, that, of course, is what the Justice Department urges as well. That was U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland with a similar message to keep protests peaceful. U.S. Senator John Ossoff called the video and beating of Tyree horrific, saying those who are sworn to protect and serve must be held to the highest standards of accountability. Whether on our streets or in our prisons and jails, brutal disregard for human rights offends the principles enshrined in our Constitution. He goes on to say, I continue to call for federal legislation to establish national standards for or the use of force by law enforcement. Well, make sure you have the Fox 5 News app downloaded if you don't already. Ahead of any possible protests this weekend, you can get the latest breaking news alerts and find the full statements from police, prosecutors, and Tyree Nichols' family.